Hello people, in this video let us look at um, caesarean section. We are starting off with caesarean section. This is coming under operative obstetrics. Okay, so basically let us look at the definition of caesarean section. So you are, it is an operative procedure. So it is an operative, uh, it's coming under operative obstetrics. You are uh, delivering the fetus after 28 weeks. Okay, after 28 weeks, let's say, fetus. after 28 weeks is delivered. <clears throat> so if you are delivering a fetus which is 27 weeks then it is not called as caesarean section. Okay, what will that be called as? That is called as hysterotomy guys. We will write that here. Hysterotomy is where you, where you are removing the <clears throat> products of conception out of the womb before the viability period. Okay, so here we are talking about caesarean section. If it is done, if the fetus is after uh, 28 weeks, at the end of 28 weeks, they are very specific about that. This is called as um, a caesarean section basically you are making an incision where at all in the abdomen and the uterine wall first you have to uh, cut the abdominal wall and then you will have to cut the uterine wall obviously right you cannot uh, just directly go and cut the uterine wall first you have to cut the abdominal wall so this is the definition of this is the definition of what caesarean section okay so they are very specific okay if this is the uh, ab abdomen and here the uterus and here's the baby Right? You have to go through these two and then only get the baby out. This is caesarean section. For some reason, let us say, this is the abdominal wall. Okay? And here's the uterus. And for some reason, the baby is lying outside. Okay? For whatever reason, ectopic or it has come out um, via ruptured uterus, etc. If you're removing this fetus, this is not caesarean section. Okay? So that's what this says. Then, so look at this. It does not include... <clears throat> an abdominal incision uh, and you are delivering the fetus which is lying freely in the abdominal ca cavity following the rupture of the uterus or in secondary abdominal pregnancy this will not be called cesarean okay so uh, the first operation performed on a patient is referred to as primary cesarean so if it is the first cesarean that you are having it's called as a primary cesarean section subsequent will be called as repeat cesarean section okay okay now let us come to the history and nomenclature how it got the name Basically, you should understand here, the word caesarean <clears throat> is Latin and it means uh, cedere, means to cut, okay. So, basically, it's to cut. And uh, what they are saying is, during Caesar's reign, okay, when he was ruling, that time they had some law, which was saying that you can provide a <clears throat> abdominal delivery in a dying woman, hoping to get a live baby, okay. Next, we'll continue with the in, uh, indications for caesarean section, why the uh, incidence of caesarean section is increasing, etc. Okay. 